I want to share something really cool the Lord did with me yesterday regarding <clears throat> Sheba Inu. Does the Lord speak to any of you through numbers? I know many of you, he does. He does with me. And like many things, you know, it's what, what I believe is, you know, when we're looking um, for the Lord in various things, not chasing signs, but when we're just have our eyes and our, and our mind focused on him, he'll speak to us more than impressions in the heart or audible words or visions and dreams. He'll use numbers. He'll use nature. He'll use the sky. And uh, it's it's awesome with the Lord. But I wanted to share, uh, you know, something that happened with Shiba Inu yesterday. Um, for the past, I'm going to say for the past week or two, I've been seeing, maybe I put this in, the, in one of my previous videos, I'm not sure, but I've been seeing 777. And uh, what's interesting is I, I have many testimonies of number patterns that have come to pass. Um, the past year, the Lord was showing me 77, 77. And, um, you know, praying about it, the Lord spoke to me and said, my grace is now here to move you into position. Number seven, we understand, is God's complete number, God's perfect number, God's perfection. I, I see it sometimes as the, f the fulfillment of God's will, God's plans, God's purpose. And um, so I was seeing 77 last year, and uh, I ended up, you know, moving to a, in, an area in Texas where there's the first two letters of the area code are, are seven, seven. So, you know, God definitely speaks to us through numbers. Um, I remember even, you know, a little bit sadder of a testimony, but I, when, when God really first started speaking to me about numbers, my, my younger sister who was saved, I, I prayed her through to the Holy Ghost. We, we baptized her and she was serving the Lord, but, uh, you know, she died, um, a few years back. And, um, but before she passed away, I kept seeing 1213, 1213. I'm like, okay, Lord, that's, that's my sister's birthday. And he kept showing that to me and, um, you know, not getting too much into the testimony, but he was showing me, uh, you know, to, to pray for her and, and, and uh, you know, it was, it was something concerning that he was going to take her. So that's not to scare anybody if you're still starting to see people's birthdays because my birthday is 12-12. She was born a day after mine. And actually before that, the Lord was showing me 12-12-12-12-12-12. And when I prayed about that, it was, um, it was about uh, the Lord dealing with me about apostolic authority and apostolic position uh, and an apostolic calling. 1212, you know, we have the 12 apostles, you know, the, the 12 pillars, the 12 patriarchs. Uh, it deals with God's order and God's government. Anyhow, I've been seeing 777, 777. I've been seeing that. And um, it's interesting that my Shiba Inu coins yesterday was reading the last couple of days, 777. I caught, it just caught my eye. You know, when you're looking for it, I don't believe it's of God, not for me for the most part, but when my eye catches it, a lot of times it is from God. Um, like I said, God doesn't want us chasing numbers, chasing signs, um, but when he, uh, when he reveals it to us, let, let me give you another testimony about money. I heard a preacher say this and I find it absolutely true. He said, well, I'm just going to say what I do now is I see a penny on the ground. I pick up that penny. I say, thank you, Jesus. I proclaim your financial blessings in my life. And ev almost every time when I find a penny or a dime or a quarter, normally pennies, I would just kind of walk over them. But this was taught to me. Thanking God in the small things. It's a kingdom principle. How can... God bless us with greater things if we can't be thankful where we are or be thankful in the small things. So when I find that penny, I pick it up, even if there's people, I say, thank you, Jesus. I receive this as a financial blessing. Thank you, Lord. And I just say a little bit of prayer. And when I had a business, I would almost always get blessed with a, a job that day, that day. Um, but anyhow, you know, I, I, it's just something, it's just something that, that works. So when I'm, this, you know, this past year, I've been in major financial difficulties. So there were times I would like look for money because I know every time I find money, God blesses my finances when I give him thanks and praise for it. But every time I was looking for money and I know that's not how it works, but sometimes, you know, a little bit desperate. And um, 
I would never find money. And then it's just when I'm walking through my day or I get out of my car to go into a store, just as I look down from my footing, there's a penny. Well, that recently just happened to me again. And I'm seeing 777 and I see Rashid Inu 777. And a dear brother of mine blessed me with Shiba Inu tokens yesterday. And uh, he takes a screenshot. He's like, you're never gonna believe this. Now I didn't share the 777 testimony with him, but he's like, I gotta send you this screenshot of my withdrawal and the numbers on it. I'm not gonna say the number of coins or price, but I'm gonna share this as part of that screenshot, what was circled on it and, and pointed out to me was, it was 777. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Later on that day, I'm just in prayer and, and uh, looking at my account again. And Shiba Inu's at 777. 777. God is doing something. Get ready, folks. Get ready. I feel like we're in this season. Get ready for the wealth transfer in the name of Jesus Christ. I know the season's been long. I feel just briefly to share this with somebody to encourage them. God has given you promises. God has given me promises. God's given us promises of the wealth transfer. If you're on this channel, God's probably, God's led you here. There's no coincidence, coincidences with the Lord. You're here for a reason and God's given you promises. God maybe given, spoke those promises. You just feel a witness from one of my videos or another brother's videos. Maybe you didn't hear an audible word. Maybe you didn't get a vision or a dream. That's okay. God speaks through man sometimes. God speaks through various things. This is what taught to me. This is what was taught to me. Nobody uses God, but God uses everybody and everything. Even Satan, God uses. Satan doesn't use God. Nobody or nothing uses God. God uses us. And you're here and it's not by accident. God's given you promises. God's given me promises. But here's the reality of it. And if anybody's been walking with the Lord for any bit of time, you'll find this true. With God's promises, there's always a process. God started showing me the wealth transfer. And maybe many of you, maybe this isn't your testimony. He started showing it to me and giving me signs and dreams and visions. And then I became broke. <laughs> God's telling you, He's gonna bless your finances. A lot of times you will be broke. Why? Because God is a mean God or it? No, no, no. Because God puts you now in the grounds of trusting him. He activates your faith. God is more, in, God is more into building your faith and your trust in him than even that blessing. And yes, God likes to bless us. With the promises, there's a process. With our callings, there's a process. God has to develop our character. He's got to work off the rough edges so that we could come in alignment with this promise and have the character to align with the promise. If not, we will burn out. If not, we will fall into pride. If not, we will fall into sin and that promise will become a curse in our lives and that's not what the Lord wants. So with every promise, be encouraged. There's a testing ground. We're in the testing ground. I feel like we're at the end of the testing ground. But God has to test us with these promises. Wealth and especially with wealth and money. You saw those videos on lottery winners, like 99% of them went broke, went suicide, lost everything because they weren't prepared before they got all that money. We have to be prepared, especially with finances. Money is power in this world. Money is influence in this world. And it could shipwreck us very easily if we're not in alignment and we're not prepared. So endure the trial, endure the storm, endure the pain for a season so that God could do in you and do in me what needs to be done so that he could bestow this upon us, this great resource upon us. He's, he's given us something so great and mighty to be used for his kingdom in this time period. Praise God, let him do it in Jesus' name. Let's pray, Lord, I thank you. Happy Independence Day for everybody. Happy 4th of July for everybody that's in the US. Lord, we thank you for freedom today. Father, I pray that your freedom will continue to prevail in this nation. Father, I pray you, Lord God, you pull down every wicked agenda in this nation and that you bring revival to this nation. I pray right now for my brothers and sisters on here. I speak freedom over their minds, freedom over their hearts, freedom over their finances. 
freedom over their ministries. I speak freedom. He who the Son has set free is free indeed. If you continue in my word, you are my disciples and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. I pray for the truth of your word to make everybody free on here right now. Free from sin, bondage, bad habits. Free from debt. Free from spiritual enslavery from the kingdom of darkness. I speak freedom. I speak for chains to break, bonds to be loosed. I speak for the anointing to break the, the yoke right now in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you all. Have a great day today. See you tomorrow. Bye.